The body, uh, people would ask, where is the body now? Where is the rest of the evidence now? And what about your friend uh, who participated with you in all of this? Those things I think we have to cover. Well, there, there were several people that helped me during this 10-day event from start to finish. Um, Gary, one of them, Dolly, was another dear, close friend. Um, Dolly is dead. I, I actually found Dolly dead in her house the, uh, the day when I had called her to go up and pick up a package she was holding for me with more of this information. That package was never found. Dead of what cause, do you know? Considered to be natural causes. Hmm. Interesting. I had talked with her a few hours before. Causes. And and you were the one to find the body. Yes, I was. All right. And of Gary? Gary is not around. Gary is either in hiding or has met a uh, unnatural fate also. I have not seen or spoke to Gary in over two years. And for that very same reason, you are on the move uh, nearly all the time yourself. At the end of this... 10-day event, I went underground, and I literally pulled in my uh, my landing gear and found a new way to survive. I knew that there was something very serious about all this, considering what all had led up to, to that 10th day, and I had to find a way to survive and to eventually get my life back, and that's why I'm here. Okay. Uh... Doctor, the body, the alien body. On the ninth day, I went back to my house, which was where the freezer in my garage was. My house had been ransacked and torn apart. There were boards from the floor missing. There were holes in the walls. Every single thing in my house had been totally disrupted or destroyed or taken. Two filing cabinets were gone out of my house. It had nothing to do with this. But I went to the garage, I found the door pried loose from the, the actual wall in the garage, sitting inside the garage. I went in, the freezer was gone, there was nothing left. So, a lot of the evidence um, was gone with, was it Dottie? Seventy-five percent of the evidence that I had at the, let's, let's say, at the end the end of the ninth day, 75% is gone. What I have left is what I was able to hide away with myself. I had, I had salted away some during this entire event. All right. Um, have you done any reverse investigation on your own or with help from friends as to any specifics of who might have ransacked your house and that sort of thing? Uh... We could, we could put a name to them and just call them uh, MIBs, but they're definitely people that were looking for what we had. We believe that our phones had been tapped, we had been watched for days, and not only myself, Gary, Dolly, um, my girlfriend, uh, her family, on and on. Um, all right. You obviously have pretty good uh, uh, photographic and video uh, evidence. Uh, today, what is Dr. Reed's assessment of the public's acceptance or denial of his alien interaction contact story? Um, what, what do you think the public thinks, doctor, is what they're asking, I guess? Well, by, by information since we've been on your show, uh, the response has been probably 85% positive that they do understand that these events happen, that once in a while somebody is able to chronicle something, and that it will stand on its own. All right, let us begin to um, go to the phones. First time caller line, you're on the air with Dr. Jonathan Reed and Robert Wraith. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir, where are you? Uh, my name's Randy. I'm calling from Phoenix. Okay, Randy. Hi, Dr. Reed. How you doing? Good, thank you. Um, 
Well, my question was, I have a couple questions. Um, was the being wearing any type of clothing or a uniform or anything like that? Yes, it was. It had a suit which we refer to as the skin suit, which is a very tight-fitting, uh, material-based suit, almost like spandex, uh, black in color, black. Uh, gloves attached to the arms. Okay. Um, I haven't had access to anything, and I haven't seen pictures or anything. Um, compared to the alien autopsy, was there any similarities? Not in my mind. No? Not at all? Not at all. Okay. Uh, my other question was, uh, you're going to go public with this. Um, what venue are you going to use to get this to the public? Uh, are you going to go use the media or newspapers? Or well, we're, we're attempting to use every venue possible that's committed to getting a positive statement out. We're not looking to make this fear-based. This is not about fear, it's about hope. It's about the new future that all of us have to embrace. Um, the information that I have that is in the book, when people read it, will give them a great deal more to think about than what's been said at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, there are events that were, are taking place in and around this show, art show, that are only starting now to happen that are chronicled in the book. Art, you have the last chapter. There is a section in the last chapter that talks about answers that people need to know. And it's a list. All right, in other words, answers to uh, most frequently asked questions, that kind of deal? Well, answers to things that are involved in our lives with extraterrestrial beings. We talk, we talk about Mars, uh, our moon, Egypt, the Middle East, weather control, the AIDS virus, Earth evolution, DNA, star communications, time shifting, space dimensional travel, MIBs, world economic crash, cold tech, extraterrestrial visitors, new documentation, the Earth, the Sun, the Bible, life force, and uh, UFOs in general.